Bowlers fire Kent to first win of the season. For the overwhelming majority of day three at the Spitfire ground, it looked for all the world like these two would share the spoils, until a quick blast led by four wickets from Jacob Duffy on debut tore through the visitors to leave them 37 for five heading into day four. Kent just five more wickets away from their first win of the season. Hammond and Dent made a bright start though, chances shelled early on by the Kent fielders and they took advantage of the lives offered to them, slowly chipping away at the deficit as they tried to mount a recovery. They put on a 50 partnership from 60 balls, sealed when Dent skewered Duffy through the leg side for four. Duffy pushed it a bit wider, Dent flashed the other way to the next ball and after a juggle in the slips, Billings pouched the catch. Dent gone for 32, the Kent bowler had sealed his five wicket bag. Hammond and Phillips were the stars of Gloucestershire's first innings effort and took them beyond 100, but they couldn't stick together for long. Hammond out for 41, bowled by Lind, the visitors still trailing by 17 and down to their last three wickets. Higgins joined Phillips, their first goal, level pegging before lunch, which was achieved with 15 minutes to spare. If Kent were to force a win, they'd have to do it with the bat. They were still together at lunch, the lead now 16 runs. Quinn brought their stand to an end after lunch, Higgins bowled for 30, Gloucestershire now with just two wickets in hand and leading by only 47 runs. That was up to 60 when Price followed, holding out to academy scholar Will Harby for three off the bowling of Daniel Bell Drummond. Phillips was Gloucestershire's last faint hope of salvaging something, and he was doing the job he needed to, up to 50 with four off Lind, the visitors beyond 200 in the process. He was farming the strike effectively too, Gahar not required to face too many deliveries, Kent held off for the time being. But Phillips fell just before T, out for 59, caught by Cox at slip, Gloucestershire all out for 213, the target for Kent just 88. It hadn't been quite the carnage of the evening of day three, and Gloucestershire had avoided an innings defeat, Phillips with another good knock. But Kent were rubbing their hands together with glee. Duffy's 5 for 66 had helped them to a position where they could now smell victory. Robinson got them off to a quick start, the required runs dipping down towards 50 with early boundaries. Gahar ensured it was just a cameo. Hammond with the catch, Robinson out for 22, not that it would make much difference to the match situation. Compton and Bell Drummond proved that point, calm and composed with little left to chase, but they couldn't make it to the finish line together. Compton out for 30, he may have been on the losing side, but you couldn't keep Phillips out of the game. It was fitting that Jack Leaning would be there at the end, his partnership with Cox in the first innings had been vital for the hosts. The scores were level when Leaning lifted Phillips down the ground for four, the single to win it came two balls later. Victory sealed for the hosts, their long wait was over. In the battle of the bottom two in Division 1 of the LV County Championship, Kent had come out on top and had the reward that their performance deserved. While it had been a real team effort, Kent will be delighted with the performances of Leaning and Cox with the bat, while Duffy with match figures of 8 for 162 looks to be a really handy addition to the attack. Disappointment for Gloucestershire, Phillips's excellent match counted for little in the grand scheme of things. Kent had the tricky task of facing Surrey at the key oval in two weeks' time. While Gloucestershire's hunt for a win goes on, Lancashire the visitors to the Sayat Unique Stadium in Bristol.